So let's take a little walk down memory lane, shall we? Let's go back to the end of Harbaugh's final season. And let's put ourselves in what kind of mindset all us fans were feeling after such a after those three straight NFC championship years, the way that the year ended, um, just you knew Harbaugh was leaving. Uh, they didn't make the playoffs. It was just everything bad, 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 you know? Um, injuries, retirements. We go to Tom Sula uh, the next year and just more of the same, more dysfunction and more leaks and more players leaving. And uh, just bad, bad football, just really bad football, you know. To see our fall from grace was pretty hard to take as a fan. We went from being a place that, uh, or at least a team that uh, commentators, you know, spoke really highly of to, you know, talking about how it's an embarrassment and um, the Niners are just a poorly run situation. You know, sure enough, we go to the next year and we have Chip Kelly and it's just, again, more of the same. You know, you got more bad drafting. You got Trent Belke in control. You know, just a totally dysfunctional organization. So finally that season ends, and that debacle appears to be finally over. And they hire John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. And I'll be honest with you, I was really hyped about the Kyle Shanahan signing, but I wasn't extremely hyped about uh, John Lynch just for the fact he didn't have experience. You know, and it showed, like, his first draft, he, they missed on their first two picks. Like, let's just be honest with that. But then, in the fifth round, there's this guy that we drafted. The skinny, somewhat undersized tight end out of Iowa that somehow slipped past everybody, okay? And now... You look at him, and without question, he is the best tight end in the league, okay? Like, there's not even a question. And if you want to talk about players who you want to draft and the type of locker room guys you want to have, Kittle checks every single one of those boxes. And the one box he checks more than anything is his love for football. I mean, if you listen after the Super Bowl, he said he wanted to play again. Like, the game had just ended, and he was already talking about playing another game. Money is not his motivation, but he should be paid. No question about it. He deserves every dime that he's gotten. And it it was then where our fortune started to turn. He's the ultimate team guy. He's the ultimate competitor. He is unquestioned leader of the team um you say that uh, richard sherman is one of the leaders uh fred warner is more understated but he could be considered one of the leaders but without question kittle is the voice the heart the everything of the 49ers there is no denying it and you know for as ashamed as i was to be a 49ers fan uh back in <laughs> those years that we discussed um, I'm pretty stoked to rock my Kittle jersey wherever I go. And it's just a nice to finally be recognized back on a national stage with some respect and some dignity. And um, hopefully we can sustain this. Hopefully this can last for a while. And we can keep talking about this into the near future. He's the ultimate security blanket for Jimmy. He's our go-to guy. Uh, he's too athletic for most linebackers, too powerful for secondary, you know, players. And he just makes everybody around him better. Um, he brings up the level of play to the people that are around him. You know, like I said, he takes off a lot of pressure off of Jimmy, um, and gives him a guy to go to in really pressure pack situations. And it's not like he doesn't have stats to back it up. He's the all time leader in receiving yards for a tight end that Kelsey had for what, like an hour or something. And, you know, he's, he's put up the numbers these last two years. A lot of people try to go to that argument, but the fact is that argument is null and void because he has the numbers to back it up. He's an incredible pass catcher, but what he does in the run game is what sets him above everybody else. And he deserves every bit of money that he gets. Like I said before, um, he is the best in the league. 
I think Kelsey's like just one notch below it. But I just think when you factor in all the things that he does for his team, um, being a you know the vocal leader, the heart and soul, uh, a blocking maestro, just an absolute powerhouse as a tight end. And he's not like the biggest guy either, Kittle. If you look at him, he's he's in shape and he's but he's got a slender build. And the the fact that he can do what he does in a run game is just amazing. Um, his peers recognize him. You mean number seven in the whole NFL and top 100 players? I mean, that says what you need to hear about the guy and justifies all the money he made. It's just an awesome time to be a Niners fan. You know, we were a laughing stock, and now, for the most part, we're, you know, maybe just behind Kansas City because they won. You know, we're like the franchise to be, you know, we're the, we're the, we're the hot ticket right now. And, um, I'd rather have a team full of talented players where a front office has to figure out how to keep them than a team who's always, you know, out of it by week five and all of us are talking about how we can't wait for the draft and free agency the next year. That's all good and great, but I'd rather have the pressure of watching games knowing that every game has a significant meeting and having players that need to make a lot of money and that are going to be hard for the team to resign than having a scrubby team that gets no national airtime and nobody talks about them. And the Niners are not in that situation anymore. And I think one of the biggest reasons they are is because of George Kittle. And John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan have gotten so much better at their jobs. I think Kittle's drafting was the tipping point. You know, they've hit on guys like Dre Greenlaw. They've hit on guys like Debo. Of course, they hit on Bosa. Um, it'd be interesting to see how they've done when it comes to Brandon Ayuk and Javon Kinlaw. But things are on the up and up with the 49ers right now. Hopefully, we have health and good fortune this year. Hopefully, this season can play itself out. And hopefully, at the end of the year in February, we're standing on stage with that trophy and we bring home the sixth to uh, the Bay Area, which where is where it deserves to be. It's been a long wait. Uh, some of you weren't alive the last time we won, and uh, hopefully we can get there and, and finish the job this time, and, and Kittle will definitely be one of the main reasons we do so. So I just thought I'd like to share that little tidbit of uh, information that was on my mind Hopefully everything is going well with you guys in your life and everybody's healthy and uh, I'll see everybody next time. See ya.